Hello friends! In this video, I have prepared for you the complete documentary of the largest artificial river project on the AMUC in northern Afghanistan. Stay tuned until the end of this video. The AMUC changes a part of its course on the common border with Central Asia towards us in order to refresh the burning plains of Afghanistan. For centuries, this great divine gift originating from the heights of the Pamir Mountains was almost exclusively available to Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan on its northern shores. But this will no longer be the case. Kosh Tepa Grand Canal is the beginning of the management that both people and authorities have realized its importance and have placed it in the list of priorities. The previous governments also had plans for water management, especially in the north of the country but they did not get the ability to implement it in practice for various reasons. Became work began with little hardware, while public awareness of the extent of the project's importance was also limited. But the mood soon changed. Many companies and work machines poured into Kosh Tepa Canal. Even our citizens from neighboring countries returned to their homeland to participate in this vast national program. Soon, the number of heavy equipment or machinery reached more than 4,000, more than 10,000 people of our compatriots were directly and indirectly employed there. The Kosh Tepa Canal will be 285 kilometers long, 152 meters wide, and 8.5 meters deep from Kaldar district of Balkh province to Ankoy district of Faryab province. The first phase was completed six months ahead of schedule, a task that was almost impossible due to the challenges and difficulties ahead. The biggest problem was the scorching heat of the plains of Haritan which posed serious health risks to the people working in digging the canal. Another major problem was the presence of sand mountains on the canal path, which seemed easy to remove as it passed Haft Kane. But the hills were successfully removed one after the other, and the AMUC was on the same level as the Kosh Tepa channel. Farmers in the region have looked at the progress of Kosh Tepa canal works with encouragement, and are impatiently waiting for the water to flow in it. In fact, they have been cherishing this dream for 60 years. It seems that with the completion of the first phase of the Kosh Tepa Canal, dreams become reality. They are already preparing to welcome AMU water, which will soon make the dry and dusty bed of Kosh Tepa moist and fragrant. The water of the AMUC has not yet been connected to the canal, but its bed has been filled with water in some parts during excavation because the underground water in these coasts is less deep and returns to the springs by digging a little. The premature filling of the road with water, although challenging due to the difficulty of digging, could never stop the progress of the project. From the political and economic point of view, the Kosh Tepa Canal project is considered a success for the Islamic Emirates, which made it a work priority and supported it with all facilities. National Development Company, by bringing private companies into this project, on the one hand, specified its completion work, and on the other hand, the re-employment field has caused people with family members to flock to this side every day to have fun with it. On both sides of the Kosh Tepa Canal, 20 meter wide roads are being built, and some people come to the site to visit the workflow, see and share their feelings with their fellow citizens. Carrying out such large projects in the post-war conditions, which were made possible by the technical and labor force of Afghans without relying on foreign aid, and the hope of Afghans has strengthened the national capabilities. Kosh Tepa Agricultural Water Channel is among the largest water projects in the region in terms of length, width, depth, and water transfer capacity. Kosh Tepa is not only a canal, but it is the first big project that is designed and executed by our own engineers and workers, and financed by internal revenue. Kosh Tepa restores our faith in our strength, Kosh Tepa is the biggest experience in water management in the north, and as a result, the construction of two large bridges with internationally accepted standards, one for the crossing of the Haritaran Mazar railway line, and the other for the use of long tonnage engines on the same route, has been completed. This desert is going to become the largest producer of wheat, fruits, vegetables, and agricultural land in Afghanistan with the completion of Kosh Tepe Canal. Kosh Tepe now except desert, dirt, and sand is nothing else. This time, this grassless desert will turn into a completely green area. For now, when we look around the Gosh Tepe Canal, 
we can see nothing but a grassless desert, where not even the sound of a bird can be heard, except for a few thorn bushes. And the endless pines that created the Kashini Desert, it is difficult to imagine that this Kashini Desert is going to be turned into a green area and a recreation area. In this giant desert, several recreational gardens will be created, which will attract people from all corners of the world. It is next to the country. Increasing deserts and harsh areas to green and forested areas means increasing food security, increasing rainfall, increasing the amount of crops, reducing soil erosion, and reducing land degradation. That's why achieving such a goal is very important. By turning dry areas into forest areas, more space will be created for the continuation of forest species, and the biodiversity of these areas will increase. By turning this desert into a green and forest area, it will increase rainfall and then increase the level of fresh water resources. It is possible that such an event can solve the problem of lack of water resources to a great extent, which can greatly contribute to self-sufficiency and increase the domestic production of the country. With the opening of the Kosh Tapa Canal, a window of hope has been found for the residents of the place. The people who spent years in war and despair are very happy today with the construction of the Gosh Type Canal. And once again, there is hope for the future, and we can. On the faces of every person in this place, the opening of the Gosh Type Canal has created a lot of people around them, and thousands of people are busy working in this place every day. Kosh Tapa to the AMUC facilitates trade by ship to the neighboring countries, which doubles the trade exchange between the neighboring countries and increases the country's economic growth. A lot of construction has started around the Gush Tipe Canal, and one of these constructions is the construction of a railway line. This railway line is of an electric type, which is used for the commercial properties of Uzbekistan and Afghanistan. Its length is up to the Mazar-e-Sharif airport. Afghan engineers have been used in the construction and reconstruction of this railway line, and the materials used in the construction of this railway line are domestic. mazar haraitan railway line that passes over the Gosh Tepe channel. The height of this railway bridge is 8.85 meters, and its length is about 90, 100 meters, and has 16 bases, and another bridge has been built over this canal, which is called the Public Bridge. The foundation of this bridge has been excavated for about 25 meters because it has been excavated so much that there is no concrete point here, and the foundations of the bridge need more depth to be strong. In the construction of this canal, 3,800 cars and almost 5,000 people worked daily. The favorable climate and fertile lands have attracted people to rent the land around the Gosh Tipe Canal, which has farms such as cotton and gardens built around the Gosh Tipe Canal. The area of the agricultural complex and industrial parks should be built. The Gosh Type to Ankoy Canal is about 285 kilometers long. It also includes several aqueducts, irrigation buildings, and if possible, the creation of electric dams. Also, the Gosh Tipe Canal has attracted people from all over the country for tourism and recreation, and the development of local people's economy. Today, the majority of countries in the world are facing a water shortage and crisis. Afghanistan is one of the countries that has a roaring sea and many fertile lands, but in most parts and cities of Afghanistan, people are facing a water shortage and crisis. This trend has been going on for years, which continues. The field of water resources management must adapt to the current and future issues that water allocation faces. As the uncertainties of global climate change and the long-term effects of management actions increase, decision-making will become more difficult. It is likely that ongoing climate change will lead to situations which we have not encountered so far, will result in alternative management strategies to avoid water barriers should be pursued. One of the biggest concerns about resources in the future is the sustainability of the allocation of current and future resources. As water becomes more scarce, the importance of its management increases greatly. Finding a balance between the needs of humans and what the environment needs is an important step in the sustainability of water resources. With the opening of the Gosh Tipe Canal, people's hopes for the future of Afghanistan have increased. Currently, 5.1 billion cubic meters of AMU seawater 
flows to Uzbekistan, 49.6 billion cubic meters to Tajikistan, and 1.5 billion cubic meters to Turkmenistan. This canal, which starts from Kaldar district of Balkh province and passes through the dry plains of the port town of Harayatan, Daulat Abad Balkh, and Akche district of Jazyan, will reach Ankoy district of Faryab province and will irrigate more than 500,000 hectares of agricultural land. The people of Afghanistan hope to have complete control over their seas and water resources. Afghanistan's water resources need a complete, accurate, and correct management. Because today, 70% of Afghanistan's water flows to neighboring countries, while Afghanistan uses only 30% of its own water. The seas of Afghanistan have a production capacity of 310,000 megawatts of electricity, but currently 75% of Afghanistan's electricity is imported. If Afghanistan produces the electricity it needs from domestic sources, besides saving millions of dollars in imported electricity, they will provide great areas for production savings. Afghanistan has the largest electricity resources in the region, but relies on imported electricity from Central Asian countries and Iran. Out of the 310,000 megawatts of electricity production capacity in the country, more than 23,000 megawatts can be produced from water resources, more than 200,000 megawatts from the sun, and more than 68,000 megawatts from wind sources in the country. Now the need of the whole country for electric energy is 11,000 megawatts, but it can be seen that luckily a little of this energy is produced from domestic sources. What is very important is that thousands of acres of land around the Gosh Tepe Canal are supposed to be turned into a green area where for years thousands of fish are supposed to be thrown into the water of Gosh Tepe Canal. This will help the country's economy significantly. Fish production is created at a very high capacity. That helped for internal use, and it will continue to be exported abroad to build a fish farm. You need a lot of water and suitable land, and the Gosh Tipe Canal, with plenty of water and suitable land, creates a good environment for creating a fish farm. Fish is one of the richest sources of protein among people's food. It is very important to create a fish farm to increase the quality of food. The limitation of water resources and the need to increase fish production in the country requires that from the available water resources, it should be done in accordance with the principle of sustainable exploitation. This project is being implemented. Big projects are not delayed due to the special situation of the country. Along with this artificial river project, Afghanistan is building the largest agricultural lands next to this canal, which will provide good fruits and vegetables to the people of Afghanistan and the world. This project provides comprehensive facilities to the people. Afghanistan will achieve a great independence by completing this project from the point of view of agriculture and its products at the regional level. Now you see that water has flowed in the desert, which no one could have imagined before. Meanwhile, the first phase of the Quash Tepe Canal was 108 kilometers long and started from the AMUC and ended in Daulatabad district which was completed within 18 months. The second phase of this canal starts from Daulat Abad district of Balkh and ends after passing through Akchi Shabergan district to Ankoy Faryab district with a length of 177 kilometers. The third phase includes the construction of subchannels. Quash Tepe Canal is 285 kilometers long and 8.5 meters wide and transfers 668.4 cubic meters of water in one second. With the completion of this canal, 580,000 hectares of land in the north of the country will be converted into agricultural land. The first phase of the Quash Tipi Canal is 108 kilometers long, which starts from the AMU River in Kaldar district of Balkh province, passes through the long deserts of Haritan, and reaches Daulat Abad district and was completed eight months ahead of schedule. Afghanistan's neighbors should have no worries about this channel, and the Afghan people respect their rights from the AMUC. Neighboring countries should also respect the legitimate rights of Afghanistan. Although the current budget does not allow for such a large-scale project, the project is being implemented due to sheer determination. The standing water was released, and the bridge over this river was opened and also the second phase of this canal was opened, people came happily to start the work on the second phase of Quash Tepe Canal. 
the people of Afghanistan are all united in the realization of the settlement of Afghanistan. Regardless of whether it is the system or the people, they all support each other. Neighboring countries should not worry that Afghanistan will divert all the water resources of the AMU Sea to itself. The people of Afghanistan confidently respect the rights of their neighbors and seek to establish friendly, positive, and intimate relations with all their neighbors. I am proud to announce that a big channel named Quash Tepe is being formed, which will make Afghanistan self-sufficient in food. With this effort, the goal is that Afghanistan will gain food independence and will not need to import from its neighboring gates. In this channel, the people of Afghanistan have decided to control plant and animal diseases and pests with effective management, and in this way, we will keep unpleasant circles away from ourselves and our dear neighbors. In the opening ceremony of this channel, the great and determined people of Afghanistan announced that they have decided to manage all the waters of the country with their strong will, and in this regard they will not cause any harm to others, and they are also ready not to accept any harm from others. The people of Afghanistan, with a very strong will, have taken a long step towards the settlement of the country in order to turn Afghanistan into an economic and self-sufficient country in the region. We hope that with these efforts, Afghanistan will be able to move on a promising and stable path and achieve the development and welfare of its people. Thanks for watching.